Hey everyone, it's Nana A. Welcome back to my channel. Y'all, I am tired, tired. We had the egg hunt today, the egg hunt contest. Uh, everybody came over, hunted eggs, and won prizes, and it was great. I had a blast. I enjoyed everybody being over. I enjoyed the collab with Cross and Maniac, and hope that uh, we can do more in the future. I thought that was really fun. But y'all, I am tired. I have a feeling I'm going to be finding some eggs along the way too. But I just wanted to take this time to um, tell you or show you or both what happens when you're getting ready for an egg hunt. And I don't mean hiding the eggs or anything. Day-to-day -day stuff, uh, especially your villagers. So yeah, this happened getting ready. First, there was rain, of course. But you know what? That keeps you cool while you're running around doing it. You don't have to water the flowers, especially since you're fixing to dig a bunch of them up, because look at this, y'all. There are flowers everywhere. And we have got to get going on this island. It's time to do some building. We may have to take a break, step back from some of the other games and and get Purple Mist going. So, we just get started But first, we need to change into some proper clothing. Let's see if we can't find our purple rain gear. So what do y'all think if we just put a sh this shirt on and some ring boots maybe possibly how's that look does that make a statement we can put a hat on think it matches. Let's just put the rain gear on. There we go. Alright. We can now get started and I'll show you how my day went. So while working, Ken came up and asked for a favor. He got something for Mitzi. I think that's so cute. And um, he doesn't want to give it to her, so sure, we'll give it to her. So he gives us this present, tells us there's no rush, but do it today. Oh, I forgot, comma, no rush. Actually, he meant no rush. <laughs> so now we have a chore to do. We have to find Mitzi and give her her present. But for now, we're going to continue um, working on the flowers and the shrubs and getting this area ready. But we decided to go ahead and take Mitzi for present and get that chore out of the way. So I went to see Mitzi, who is so very cute. Hey, Mitzi. <laughs> we told her that um, we have a delivery for her from Ken. I forgot his name, y'all. For me, from Ken, she was so excited and surprised. 
She couldn't wait to open it to see what it was, and it was a fast food uniform. And she says it's her style. I don't think so. But we said, sure, go ahead and try it on. And, um, yeah, that just doesn't look like Mitzi, but she looks so happy to get it. We're going to tell her she looks okay. It doesn't look bad. And she gives us a thick strap shirt, so that's our payment for delivery. And they were on to more um, work on the island until we ran into another villager. But of course, we need to go let Ken know that we delivered the package by the present. So we might as well do that and get it out of the way, I thought. So we go all the way back over. Saw that Flick was here, so we'll have to do that. We need some models. Told Ken that we delivered it, and she was so happy. And we told him that it looked good on her. Off we go for another round, which was not far to see other villagers. They, even though they're out, I mean, even though it's raining, they are out and about. But we just keep going. Because we need to get some work done. And of course by working, I mean undoing everything that I'd already done in a previous build and messing up my uh, courtyard of the castle and the gate and not really getting anything ready, y'all. Well, I got that fixed and then I decided to go talk to Tom. We're going to do a little remodeling on the house because I think we only have one left. <clears throat> to finish the um, Look Mile Achievement. So I'm thinking maybe mm, a new mailbox? Maybe? New roof? I don't know. So let's see what we can do. <clears throat> so we looked at everything. We definitely need a new mailbox. That white mailbox does not go with the pink and purple. And I don't really like the roof. So let's start with the mailbox here. And we did, and we went to the roof. We got a pink mailbox. You know we're going to stay with the purple roof, right? Hmm. That one goes a little bit better. So we made our decisions. We told him, this is it. He said, I'll get it done by tomorrow. So here we go again. Now, y'all thought I was through. No, I went back because I forgot to talk to him about the incline. Because after putting the gate back where it was supposed to go, I decided to put an incline down to the secret beach. So that's what we're doing now. And so far, I have decided most of the inclines are going to be the um, natural ramp. Because this is a very core but natural island i may demolish and change some in the end if if i feel like it but for now we're going to go with the natural ramps so we're going to put an incline right here because i want to keep everything up one level i think and we need to get down to the beach and it's going to be part of the egg hunt so let's put this down probably have to do a little work and i was right So we struggled with getting the incline down. Then we finally got it right, or close enough, that we put the ramp down and said, yep, this is it. And then we moved on to the next. And we did find ourselves in a conversation with Boomer and Fuchsia. Uh, yeah, I'm always coming up with new recipes. You want to taste test an original? I'm calling it Succotash. Purple Mist style. Yeah, this kind of worried me from the beginning. And 
Oh, Boomer wanted with somebody to cook for him. And Fuchsia saw it as her chance. Each is an apple cobbler on succotash? Is that really good? No idea, but I think it's going to be better than my grilled tofu. Now that was a disaster. So are you free next Saturday? And Boomer said, um, sorry, I think I'm going to be busy. Um, hiding from you. I thought that was a great line from Boomer. There you go, Boomer. Now run away. Now run away, Boomer. Run away. There you go. Oh my gosh, y'all. Then we go see what's up with Vlad and Poncho. Of course, it has something to do with uh, exercising. It's all Poncho talks about. You know how those jocks are. And Vladimir's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just an old cranky little cub, so... However, he did bring him around to saying... Pick time. Yeah, I regret giving Poncho that one a long time ago. I just wanted his picture. But now, everybody wants to say it. Oh, big time. And then we all walk away. I'm not <clears throat> entirely sure what just happened. Um, don't give any more silly sayings. No more silly sayings. Then we carried on to work some more. And I was running along, went over the ramp, and oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it scared me. Oh no, Judy. I was talking about Zipper. Judy wanted to come to the house. And, um, I had to say sorry. And it broke my heart, but we've got so much to do to get ready for the day that this thing over here represents but i ran away ran 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 so i went to a different day where the sun was shining we changed into our tank top and our shorts and our little boots and we're going to see what we can get done today was the thought when we started but you'll see what happened I decided to take a little trip to Nook Mile Island for a little break and to find some extra eggs for the hunt, get a little resources because I am getting low on some of the wood. No big deal. Not a, not a special island, but we're going to do some fishing some tree chop chopping and we did some um, in the rocks you know just a normal thing and if it was the target was to hit the fish I would have been doing great we finally got it to bite and we pulled loose we didn't want that many way we wanted the big one and it wasn't an egg. I'm fishing for eggs. If I wanted fish, I'd get eggs. I want eggs, so I get fish. But we'll help with the nut balls. So back to the island to put our few resources up that we got. We didn't get many. We got a little though. And then we were going to go back to work. And so we started off on our way with good intentions to work. And then we run into some villagers with a bubble over his head. And guess what Poncho wanted to do? A treasure hunt. I am not good at these treasure hunts, y'all. But 
was a break. So we decided to go ahead and play treasure hunt with Poncho. So he hid the treasure somewhere on the island and gave us a whole three minutes to find it. So we got our shovel and off we went. We went here. We went there. Looking, looking, looking. We looked everywhere. The buzzer went off. We're still going to find it because you still get a few points, you just don't get the prize. And lo and behold, right next to Resident Services almost was the present. So we ran all over the island and it was just right there. Well played, Poncho. Well played. So we gave him that. He said, good job, but sorry, you don't get the present. And then we talked to Kix, but he didn't have a whole lot. So we moved on to our next, next task, which was not checking our Nook Miles. So hold on, y'all. But I decided to wrap up some yummies and go see my villagers i haven't done it in a few days i'm gonna be honest and i usually give them every day but getting this island ready has just been oh work after work after work so i thought it was time that we go do a little visiting give a few presents see if we can get some pictures or if they're mad at me for the last so we went to see ken and we found him, <laughs> oh my goodness y'all, cooking and jamming. So we decided to have a little dance time, a little jam time with Ken. And that made our day. Or it made my day anyway. I thought it was so cute. Go back, back. There we go. See, we are in sync. Jamming, jamming, jamming. He would stop a little bit, think about what he needed to do, what ingredient he needed to put in next, but then we'd go back to it. Then I finally decided to ask him, hey, what are you doing? What you cooking? What's going on? He told me the new Nuki de Zuka? I don't know. I just took the recipe. Yep, I promise you. I'll bring it to you, Ken. If I remember. But, um... Can we dance some more? So we decided to give him his gift. Since he was cooking, we give him a little food. He opened it up, and he gasped, and he swooned, and he loves pumpkin cupcakes. Thinks I'm a mind reader. And boom! We got Ken's photo. Oh my gosh, y'all. I've been trying to get this little Smugs photo for a while. I'm just telling you, food is the way to get their photos. This is my seventh one. So then we go back to dancing because I am so happy. So, so happy. And I wanted to continue with a positive note, I thought. So then we went to Resident Services. But before I reached Resident Services, I stopped for a little rest and a little 
photo opportunity with Mitzi and Judy because they were just so cute sitting there. Even though they didn't offer me anything to drink. But that's okay. They were still cute. We still took some photos and then I went inside. But then this was me totally forgetting that I was still in camera mode trying to go into resident services. Not sure why I can't get in. I just keep trying. Then I realize, oh, camera's on. So then I go in. So then we go see Isabel. Let's find out our island rating. We haven't checked in a while. So I told her that's what we wanted. And she's always happy to do that. We have a four star rating. And I'm thinking, what is wrong? I wanted five. And even though Isabel said it was good, she did have that one little problem she always has. That one teeny tiny concern. Too many items laying around. So I'm thinking, what? Isabel, where are their items laying around? I don't understand. And now I have another mission. We have got to find... Look, there's one, one tree branch. We have got to find the stuff that's laying around. I just don't see anything. Fauna, do you see anything laying around? I said. Then I remembered. Oh, yeah. All of these DIYs. So then we started cleaning up. And we finally finished. There was a lot of them. So... We do want to put these away, maybe. So I won't carry them around in my pocket, I thought. Because there is still so much to do. And so little time to do it. The big egg hunting contest is coming up quick. We shot a balloon down and got some bells. Yay! We still have two gifts to give. One of them we couldn't give because of Tipper. We gave her an egg earlier that day, so we could not give her uh, a present. So back in we go to see if that was it. Is that what was keeping us from five stars? I can't imagine there's a whole bunch of stuff left laying on the other side of the island. I've been cleaning up for days over there. So, with that in mind, we ask Isabel again, what's our rating? And, oh, five stars, y'all. I'm doing the five star dance. I know y'all can't see me. But Purple Mist is five stars. I was so happy. Um, it's always good to get that um, five star rating. To get the golden watering can recipe and take care of some nook mile golds. That's what we're in this game about with this challenge. Sorry, y'all got a little excited. So, um, yeah, we are five stars now. We got to keep it. That means after that egg hunt, got to clean up. But after celebrating with Isabel, I was tired. So I thought, there's one more thing left to do, besides get our golden watering can recipe. Let's do that. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. And we said, nope, that was it. We're so happy, we gotta go. And of course, it calls for a little happy celebration dance and a picture of Isabel and me doing the happy dance and off we go with one more thing in mind and that was Fauna's birthday so let's go celebrate her birthday give her her gift and be so happy that we are five stars and it's Fauna and Tipper so cute so we did we went in we gave her her gift and we got her an elegant hat i thought it would be so cute on her 
and she was surprised. And I think she was happy. Even if she wasn't, we're gonna think she was. Oh, for me, really? This is so exciting! She seemed happy. She's in shock. So, while we kind of dance the night away or the day away with Bonnie and Tipper, I'm going to let y'all go. Don't forget to hit that like button. Leave me a comment below. Let me know how you liked the video, how you think the villager days went. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Come on in. Be part of the family. Everybody's welcome. And of course, don't forget to ring that notification bell so you'll know when my next video comes out. And until then, bye y'all.